I, Saman Masi, welcome you to the class. Students, today we will be talking about one of the major topics, especially in composition part, that is story writing. If we look at the question number 4 of your question paper, we see the story writing carries 10 marks. Many of us fail to create a wonderful story. Today, through this video, I would be explaining to you how we can write a better story. Students, story falls under the category of narrative writing. The elements of the story writing are similar to that of the narrative writing. Short story takes the form of fiction work which is based on the limited number of characters and on a subject of theme. It basically focuses on to entertain its readers. So when we talk about the story, so we will talk about the elements of the story. What story should contain when we write a story. So first we will talk about the elements of stories. So normally there are five elements in the story. The first element is the setting. So when we talk about what setting is, what comes in our mind first? Setting is where and when the story has taken place. Maybe in the yard, in the jungle, in the dark night, in the past, in the present or in the future. So the basic component of the stories are social environment, time and place. When we talk about the setting, what we talk about, actually we talk about in the setting, that is to build its background, which create clear-cut images that we could even feel that we are there in the story, when the story is running. So that is the first part of the setting. So basically what is the important thing? Time, place and social environment. So all the story will be based on this. Second part when you move it is the character. Then what is character? Character is the means through which the author communicates to us. His ideas, his opinions are communicated to us through the characters. So, characterization is the process by which the author tries to communicate to its audience. So, there are basically two types of characters, direct characters and indirect characters. What is the direct character? Direct characterization is that characters which the author introduced directly to the audience. Suppose if I say there was a sm small rabbit in the jungle. The small rabbit is the direct characterization because the author has already directly informed to us. But on the other hand, indirect characterization is that which the audience implies with the given clues. Suppose when we look at the appearance of the rabbit, that is called indirect characterization. So third point is the point of view. Every story has to be told in the point of view. The author has his own point of view to tell a story and according to that point of view, the story is told. And when we talk about the next theme, that is what is theme? The theme is the message given to the audience. Whatever message is given to the audience is called the theme of the story, which we do also call the moral of the story. At the end of the story we do write. But the theme is much more than that. Theme could be the struggle between good and evil. A child or burai ke beech ka jo sangharsh hai, har stories mein hota hai. Jhaan log jitni movies dekhte hai, un movies mein bhi struggle hota hai. We have got a hero, whom do we call a hero, and a villain, and a struggle between them. That is the first kind of theme. Another could be the differences between nature and civilized society. Differences between nature and civilized society. 
this is also another theme of the story and another could be conflict between in the individual and the community samaj or vyakti vyaktigat roop se ek jo conflict ek sangharsh ho sakta hai us sangharsh ke bare mein bhi hum log baat karte hain so this is what we call the theme in the story the next point the fifth one we will talk about the sequence and the plot okay the event of things happening that is called the sequence so i was talking about we will talk about the next point that is the sequence of a story so normally the sequence of the story story begins is the particular point here that point is called the exposition what is exposition exposition means the introduction of the character the story the relation between the characters kaun hai kya hai kiske sath wo juda hai uska motives kya hai so these all things are introduced in the character that is called the exposition then this exposition will begin the story we call it the rising action the action will start to rise things will start to happen so the story start building up but when it starts at certain point it comes the conflict that's what i talk about conflict between the nature between the two people between man to man conflict so the certain type of conflict where the tension starts beginning so we begin to build up the tension what is going to happen next that is called the time it happens to be before the climax so then finally we reach to the climax and what is the climax climax is the turning point of the story the highest point the basically that point is the story where what is called as a climax at this particular point we actually are able to foreshadow what could be the ending so maybe climax could be talked about the something something happening towards the end then the rising falling action the falling action start to fall down which will help to get a resolution so indicator the things are going to be all right and last point is called the retribution when the conflict is resolved the that means it indicates something has been end so this is what we have talked about the story writing so story writing has got some element elements and those elements are to be taken into consideration while we write the story i hope this video will help you to write a better story and score good marks in english thank you very much stay tuned with me for the next video thank you very much have a wonderful day ahead